Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Fall is finally here, so today I wanted to talk about some of the things that I've been really, really enjoying. Let's start off with the bag that I've been loving this season, and it has to be the Fendi. Oh my, I almost said peekaboo. The Fendi baguette in this gold python. I just did a what's in my bag video on this bag. I've had this bag in my collection for about two years now, but the first year I didn't really reach for it a lot. I felt like I had to wear like a very specific outfit to match this bag because it's such a showstopper and it's very very shiny gold it's a very high impact bag my outfits were very limited if i wanted to go with this bag but i feel like i was over complicating it too much in my head so this entire year i've been actually getting a lot of wear out of this this bag can fit a lot but it's a super lightweight bag and because it's a metallic gold bag i feel like you can wear this both day and night i loved wearing this in miami when i was like going out lately i've been wearing this bag with a thin sweater and i noticed that i've been reaching for a lot of fall kind of colors like brown camel and this kind of like mocha color that is my favorite so with these kinds of tones and shades this bag has been amazing this might not be like a typical fall bag it's not like a suede or a shearling like anything cozy it's actually very like stark but somehow it works with my wardrobe and it has been hotter than it was back in like july or august so i think we're in like an indian summer so this has been such a great early fall kind of bag for me next up we have my favorite shoes as of late and these are the daydream sneakers from Hermes. I got the white pair with the gold Kelly buckle. These sneakers are such clean, classic, but very, very chic sneakers. I love them so much. And I opted in for the high tops because that's the design that I like personally on my legs. I think they're very, very flattering. And also I tend to wear a lot of shorter pieces like shorts, mini skirts, um, mini dresses. So a high top works well with that kind of silhouette. High tops tend to make you look a little bit more relaxed and casual. They are true size and very very comfortable sorry if it's gross but there are a bunch of h's on the bottom which just makes it look so much cooler the simplest yet very very chic sneakers i've also been wearing these a ton with like a baggy pants because i love the way they just sit on top of these shoes and they do give you a little bit of height not like a platform status but just a little bit and i've been looking for new white sneakers for almost a year now before these i was wearing common projects 24 7 they're so comfortable i went through two pairs they're so dirty like beyond repair so i've been actually looking for a new white sneakers that i can like replace my common projects with and these have been on my wish list since like january so i decided to go for it and i'm so happy i did my last fashion item is tweed jackets i've been loving tweed jackets and this is actually my favorite one this is from the Korean brand that I am obsessed with this year. I have about three or four tweed jackets and I feel like you just can't go wrong with having a black tweed jacket. It's such a versatile and classic item. It really elevates your outfit. It gives you a little bit of warmth. It can be thrown on literally anything and it's perfect for the season when it's like not too cold yet. Instead of reaching for like a chunky knitted cardigan, which I still love, something like this will definitely give you a different vibe, a different look. So I've been loving this. And aside from like the cut and like the fabric and like how thick it is, I would say the most important thing is the actual button on the jacket. So when you're looking for any tweed pieces, just look out for the buttons because the buttons can really make or break your tweed jacket. So moving on to beauty, I wanted to talk about my new favorite hair mask and I have three of them. They're the same kind. These, the Christophe Robin hair masks. Like, please, someone tell me how to actually pronounce this brand. The first one is the Regenerating Mask. It's in this orange slash red lid. I'm like halfway through it. It smells kind of powdery. And you know what it reminds me of? Um, baby powder. <laughs> so if you don't like that smell, you're probably not going to like it. But it's a very gentle fragrance. And then I have two toning ones. So this is for brunettes and this is for blondes. This is like the purple toning um, conditioner. It's blue. So it's really really effective for blonde and especially like bleached hair and then this it's also toning but it has like a different tone it's like purpley gray and i've noticed that this works better than the blonde for me personally this is like an all-in-all -all like good hair mask it makes your hair so silky smooth so i love it but i wanted to talk a little bit more in depth about these like comparing these two i do like them both but i've noticed a little bit more result with the brunette one so if you have like a lighter colored nails even if they're gel 
this might stain your nails so when you're putting this on your hair i recommend wearing some kind of gloves i wear like those plastic ones i used this one for the first time right after i got these nails done as you can see they're like really really light milky pink kind of color and this made my nails blue and at first i was like whoa this kind of like stained my nails so i was like rubbing it and then it wouldn't wash off so that started to kind of freak me out a little bit and then even with soap i had to like really rub it in so after that i've been using like those plastic gloves to put this on that's how like powerful it is but not to the point where it would stain your tub necessarily because it's still a conditioner i don't think it's as powerful as it would be if it was a shampoo like for brunettes but yeah just a heads up that this would stain your hair a little bit more than the one for brunettes this one is like a mild purple conditioner with like a blue tone so i definitely see a lot more results with my bleached ends like the bottom half of my hair as soon as i use this my hair like the bottom half turns a little bit ashier slash green and with this it turns really really green and ashy i try not to use these two too often because they still have that toning element so anything like that is still going to dry out my hair whereas this one the regenerating mask it's just like a conditioner so i've been using this a ton and that's why more than half of it is gone already because i've been taking a lot of baths and i've been using this every time i take a bath and then the last three items are all makeup and they're all on my face First off, I had to mention this Chanel eyeshadow quad. This one is number 266 to say essential. I don't think this is a limited edition product. I think it might be one of the permanent ones. You can definitely still get it. And you might be able to tell by the volume of these little big shadows that this is my absolute favorite. I believe they're all big shadows. So they're very, very soft and easy to blend out. And this one right here, my favorite, is a neutral medium brown. But it does pull a little bit more warm on my skin tone. And that is what I use all over my eyes today. This shade right here, that's slightly darker than this one is what i used on my lid today to deepen up the look this is more neutral but this one is definitely on the warmer side it's like a plummy red meets neutral brown if that makes sense and i use this darker shade as like an eyeliner like just at the end right here this one is like a very 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 dark like grayish charcoal with a hint of brown it's gorgeous and all of these shadows are satin finished that's why they're so easy to work with and even when you go too heavy-handed with them on your eyes they don't make your eyes look too dull because i feel like a lot of matte eyeshadows out there especially if they're like darker and like darker brown kind of shades they can quickly make your eyes look flat and dull and like almost muddy but because these have like a satin finish they kind of have like a little bit of sheen to them so they just make your eyes still look very natural but not dull and flat so i've been loving these and this is all i'm wearing on my eyes today and then a little trick for like the fall time i've been loving is using a brown mascara so this i got from olive young so i think this is a korean brand rom and d this is in the shade l03 long hazel so what i've been doing is just coat my lashes once with like a normal mascara like a black one and then go ahead with this as like a second coat it is like the slightest difference that i don't think anyone would be able to tell especially on like pictures or anything but it does make a difference to me <laughs> and you will be able to see it it softens up your entire eye look and it makes you look that much more natural <laughs> i tend to go for a lot of volume mascara so they really coat my lashes and they like thicken them and while they make your lashes stand out sometimes it just feels a little bit too harsh this has been my absolute favorite brown mascara because it doesn't have any red tint to it in the past all the brown mascaras i've used had some kind of like orangey red tint so after i apply it i always check like in the sun I would see my lashes looking orange and red. It was not cute and like definitely not what I was going for. But this is the ultimate like dark chocolate brown with no red tint. And sometimes if I want to go really, really natural, this is the only thing I wear. I skip the first step, which is just using a regular black mascara as like my first coat. I even skip that and just go straight with this. And it's so, so gorgeous. And then my last item is the new launch from Agent Natur, which is one of my all time favorite like skincare brands. You guys know this. This is their Holy Sun, which is like a tint tinted sunscreen i got the shade almond which is optimal for light to medium skin tone and at first i was a little bit worried because from the bottle it looks very peachy and i am very very yellow base no hint of peachness pinkness whatsoever 
So I was a little bit skeptical, but because it's such a lightweight product that has to be blended out anyways, it doesn't really make a difference. I will be very honest here though. If you're looking for any kind of coverage, this is not your best friend. What you can do, however, is use this as a base, like a sunscreen or even like a moisturizer that you would put as your last step in your skincare and then go ahead with like a foundation or a concealer. When I wear two layers of this, it makes my face look way too dark compared to my neck. So I can't really wear it that much i believe this product was in development for like seven years or something so like i really really trust this brand it doesn't have that weird sunscreen smell it does not have a white cast which is huge considering that it is a non-toxic mineral sunscreen i could literally go on and on and on about like the harmfulness and the damage that a chemical sunscreen can do to your face your skin and your body which is why i'm a strong believer in mineral sunscreen and i'm so happy that this has finally launched this also is a very glowy product because it's a sunscreen the first few times i wore this i was wearing like my daily moisturizer like the one from vna and that is like a glowy moisturizer so i feel like it was way too much to wear such a glowy product and then on top of that wear another glowy sunscreen so my face just felt really tacky there was just so much going on so i had to like powder my face but lately i've been pairing this with holy creme which is the moisturizer from asian Natur. that's one of my favorite products from this brand because it smells like cucumber it is so soothing so moisturizing without any tackiness because it actually dries matte it gives you such a glow like filtered look to your face so it creates a nice canvas a nice base for your makeup to go on so when i wear that underneath this it is like the most perfect combo so that's what i'm wearing today and now that i'm starting to lose my tan a little bit i feel like i need to get the lighter shade which is the lightest shade and start like mixing it or something like that because sunscreen is still going to be important in the fall and winter season and this one for those wondering has spf 50 oh i forgot to show you it's also very very watery i hope you can tell and my favorite way to apply this is with a beauty blender actually if you put it like directly on your face it will just like glide right down so i like to put it on my sponge and then just dab 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 and you're good to go so that was everything i wanted to share with you guys today as my fall favorites i really hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know if you have any questions down below and i will see you in my next video